السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Today our journey will take us to a special woman the beloved daughter of Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam one of the best women in Jannah that is none but Sayyidah Fatima her full name Fatima bint Muhammad ibn Abdullah now look at the nickname she's known as the flower known also as Fatima to Zahra the shining one and the special characters about her is actually narrated in a hadith by Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam she narrated hadiths from Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam and many companions narrated hadiths from her she was well known for the following being patient persevering content and grateful to Allah and act with excellence she has two sons the beloved grandchildren of Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam al hasan and al hussein she is also known as the link of al mustafa the link of the chosen which is a rasul alayhi salatu wassalam because only her children they survived and had offsprings she was beautifully called frequently ummu abiha the mother of her father because she had a great resemblance to a rasul alayhi salatu wassalam and she took care of him especially after the death of Sayyida Khadija. She was known as the best woman of her era and one of the best women of Jannah. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas reported in a hadith recorded by Imam Ahmad that Rasul said, the best woman among the people of paradise are Khadija bint Khuwailid, Fatima bint Muhammad, Maryam bint Imran, and Asiya bint Muzahim, the wife of Pharaoh. So four, Khadija bint Khuwaili, the first wife of Rasul Alayhi Fatima, his daughter, Sayyida Maryam bint Imran, and Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, the best four women of Jannah. And Rasul Alayhi Salatu loved her immensely, that every battle he goes, when he comes back to Medina, he usually pray in the masjid. That's his sunnah Alayhi Salatu And then he goes to her house. And he usually makes sure he sees her before he goes to his own wives. And she had a special status with the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. And let's share this hadith. And he said, and imagine a father said this about his daughter. He said, Fatima, bid'atum minni, faman aghdabaha aghdabani. Fatima is a part of me, piece of me. And whoever make her angry, he actually makes me angry. Sayyida Aisha was asked, who was the most beloved person to Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam? And Sayyida Aisha responded, Fatima. And then she was asked, how about from among the men? And Sayyida Aisha responded, her husband, Sayyidina Ali. And she said, he was sawam qawam. He was always in a state of fasting, or he fasted a lot, and he would stand up long nights in prayers. Sayyida Aisha reported this, and she said, I have not seen anyone who resembled Rasul wasalam, in speech, the way she spoke, may Allah be pleased with her, more than Fatima. When she entered, look at that. When she entered on him, he stand up, greet her, kiss her, and welcome her. And she would do the same toward him. When he comes, she stand up, welcome him, kiss his hand. She was the fourth daughter, and she was born four years before Rasul became the prophet. Her mother is Sayyida Khadija, and Rasul loved her dearly. She grew up as a Muslim. She didn't live long with the era of the pagans. However, having said that, she witnessed the torture of Quraysh to her father. And one of the stories that really should move us all is when the Rasul was praying in the courtyard of the Kaaba and the disbelievers came and threw the intestine 
of the camel on him. She ran to him when she heard that, crying. And she was removing it and clearing the dirt from him and saying, oh, daddy. And then she loudly invocating against those who did this to her, her father. She was young when her mother died. And she lived with her sister, Umm Kalthum, who took care of her and with her mother-in-law, Sayyida Sauda. Migrated to Medina with her sister, with Sayyidina Ali and with Sayyida Sauda. Married Ali, radiyallahu an, two years after Hijrah. So Rasulullah gave her in marriage to his cousin, Sayyidina Ali. Two years after Hijrah, after the Battle of Badr, she was 15 years of age and he was 21. But they did not live together till she was 18 years of age. These days we all want to live in prosperity. We want to have good life. So imagine the daughter of Rasulullah married to the fourth Khalifa, not yet Khalifa, but his cousin. However, they were very poor. They had minimum. They had nothing. For her marriage, Rasul he prepared for her the basic necessities to use in a home. Leather, water, pitcher, a wooden bed, and some cushions. She used to work very hard. And there is a hadith where she came to Rasul especially later in Medina, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened wealth to the Muslims and she said it's getting very hard on me I need a helper when she came to ask for help from Rasul this is the daughter of the best of the creation he actually advised her instead of material help uh, eternal help that's the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he asked her to say say ten times subhanallah alhamdulillah Allahu Akbar after each prayer and say 33 times Subhanallah Walhamdulillah and Allahu Akbar before you go to bed. Rasulullah really loved her and she had a special place in his heart. She came to him, Sayyidah Fatima, and she said, Inna qawmaka yatahadathuna annaka la taghdab li banatik. She came to him and said, people are saying that you do not get upset when your daughters get upset. And here you go. Ali is planning to marry the daughter of Abu Jahl. Rasul stood up and after he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. And he said, I have given my daughter to Abu al-As ibn Rabi'ah. And he treated her very well. And Fatima bint Muhammad is part of me. And I don't like her to be tested and by Allah, she cannot ha be together in the same house with the daughter of the enemy of Allah in one house with the same man at all. And Sayyidina Ali did not marry the daughter of Abu Jahl. And in fact, Sayyidina Ali did not marry as long as he was married to Sayyida Fatima. After she died, he actually married a slave girl by the name of Umama. She gave birth to four children, two boys and two girls, Al-Hassan, Al-Hussein, and then two girls who she named them after her late sisters, Umm Kalthum and Zainab. Rasul was there when she gave birth to Al-Hassan. In fact, he gave adhan in the ear of Sayyidina Al-Hassan, and he suggested that she makes aqiqa celebration for the birth of the boy. There is a, a narration that states the status of Sayyida Fatima. This was actually a hadith that Rasulullah said, an angel came to me today. It had never descended to the earth. And he sought permission from Allah, from his Lord, to greet me with salam and to give me the glad tidings that Fatima is the best of the women of paradise and that Al-Hassan and Al-Hussein are the best of the youth of the people of paradise. Some of the memorable moments of her life is actually the time of the death of Rasul She was the only daughter who survived him. His three daughters passed away before him, alayhi salatu wassalam. 
So she entered and he was dying. You can imagine the moment and the feeling. She came close to him, she was crying. And then he whispered something in her ear and she started crying even more. And then he whispered something else in her ears and she starts smiling. And no one knows at that moment, what did he say, alayhi salatu wassalam? When he passed away and they took him, the companions, and buried him, alayhi salatu wassalam, they came back to his house. She was there. She looked at them and says, طابت لكم أنفسكم أن تحثوا التراب على رسول الله How can your self made you throw dust over a Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam? Look at her love. And look at the faith of the Sahaba. They looked at her and says, Daughter of Muhammad, that's what he taught us. Alayhi salatu wassalam. Sayyida Aisha asked her afterward, What did he say to you that made you cry? And what did he say to you that made you smile? She said, The first thing he said to me, what made me cry harder, that your father has not much left. Go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's when I start crying very hard. Then he whispered again and he said, you're the first one who's going to follow me after I die. And I smiled. And absolutely she died six months after him, alayhi salatu wassalam. She was buried in Baqi'ah. She was buried by Sayyidina Ali after he prayed on her. May Allah be pleased with her, the flower, the unique, the part of Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam. And she died very young at age 28. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us follow her footsteps, learn from her, and bless us all. Oh.